G'day, welcome back to the 40 channel. Right, uh, today's probably just going to be a quick video, although there's been a fair bit of time that's gone into this manifold already. So here it is, this is the manifold. Now, there was a few little things on this that were just really catching me out. One was the heat valve. I took a bit of time, a fair bit of effort, really cleaned it up and got it free moving again as it was, was really bound up, really rusted up. Or the spring mechanism, or the spring mechanism on the side was just totally corroded and just fell apart in my hands. Now that's the heat valve. Now apparently what it's supposed to do is when you first start your car up, heats up the bottom of the carby and just makes the car run a little bit smoother as you're first warming up the car. Now I was trying to find the new components for this. Again, like many other things on this, very difficult to find to the point where everyone was telling me I don't need it and either weld it shut or remove it altogether. So uh, I still kept looking, still trying to find something. At the end of the day, I just think that, well, I can only go off what everyone else is saying. Now, whatever I do to this, I'm sure they're gonna get some type of comment saying, why didn't you just do this or why didn't you just do that? But ultimately, I'm just gonna go with the easiest option with this and we're just gonna remove this heat valve altogether and weld up the holes and give it a nice neat look. Could be wrong, but at this present moment, that's the way we're gonna run with it. Let's get into it. So just trying to strip this manifold down to give it some uh, bit of love. And one of these bolts in here was pretty corroded. We couldn't get a spanner onto it. It was just too corroded. Uh, it's all burnt around. So what we're gonna do, weld on a nut on the top of it. And then hopefully that'll sort of put a bit of heat through here and we'll be able to get some purchase on it and be able to undo it. So we'll see how we go. It's glowing red. All right, we'll see if we can get uh, get that undone now. Still doesn't still doesn't budge. stuck on there. Do some R1. Now this is non-flammable so we can do this. We have been spraying it with R1 for like well over a couple of weeks just to try to get something in there but I don't know this just does not want to move. We might have to try to cut it off with a grinder I think. Dead blow hammer. All right, there's our damaged nut. So what we can do now, so we actually try and screw another nut on there, be able to get a better weld on it, and we'll try again.
moving. Yes! Happy days. Don't let anything beat ya. Oh, that's really cool. All right, so that's separated. Right, uh, so I've just spent an incredible amount of time trying to free up this flap valve inside the manifold. Um, I've had some winds and I've had some, well, we knew that it was no good because the spring on the side was totally corroded, it was gone. The uh, support bolt that held it all in place is totally corroded, it's broken. Our uh, little counterweight, uh, it, it snapped off as well. The win is I've actually freed that, freed that flat valve up now. I was also able to grind and drill out and re-tap out this stud here that was snapped off inside. So we're making progress, but I know how difficult it's gonna to be to try to find a few of these little parts. So I never intended to uh, really spend this much time on the motor. I always thought that uh, it was gonna to be totally seized and destroyed and I'd just have to boat anchor it and just get a new motor, any type of motor, I didn't really care. Well now I'm 100% committed to getting the original motor back into the original cruiser, all the numbers will match up. So all this time, effort and money which is going into this, which is, is taking up a lot more money than I ever wanted to pour into this project, taking up a heap more time than I ever wanted to put into this project. I'm hoping that in the end result, it'll pay off when it gets to, uh, when it comes to sale time, because that's where we're at. We're gonna have to sell this vehicle to be able to continue projects in the future. The other thing was, there's a bit of corrosion over this front surface here, but as you can see, it's pretty clean now. So what I did with that top surface is, I just spent a bit of time Cleaning it all up just with a file, with raw filing it. Give it a nice flat surface again so that a gasket can sit on there and seal that up. This side here, we've still got a lot of gasket left. I'm going to try to use the, uh, the Chem Tools gasket remover, remove all that. But in the meantime, let's get rid of this heat valve. Just a little bit of stopper there. We'll just get a die grinder in that hole there and just clean that out. There's our shaft. And there's our heat valve flap. Right, so there's our basic little heat valve. Just a flap and a shaft. The rest of the components are, like I said, totally corroded away and gone. You never know, we'll keep it, just in case something comes up later on. Now I'm just going to clean out the two little holes where that shaft went through just with a die grinder and then we'll weld them up. Now we're only just going to put just a light weld over the top, that'll seal it, stop any exhaust coming out, but what it does is that if I need to go back and put something in there, I can just re-drill those holes out and we can put something back in there if we need to in the future. I've just got clamped again in the in between the soft jaws so we don't damage anything here. Let's give it a bit of a, a weld up. Lovely. Let's clean all this gasket up. Some of the uh, gasket and carbon stripper. Just give that a good soak. I tried peeling it all off and scraping it off, it just would not move. So hopefully this will do the trick. Give that a really good soak. 
We'll just let that sit for about 10 minutes. So two manifolds are pretty much all good to go. So all I need now is uh, my Bakelite gasket here, which I've ordered. I need to chase up a plus. I need to chase up a gasket for the bottom of this. Right, hey, our manifolds all cleaned up. We've removed all the gaskets. We've tapped all the holes. We've cleaned up all our machine surfaces where the gaskets go. Removed the heat valve. So like I said, it's only going to be a quick little video. I'm chasing up a few gaskets just so that we can put all this back together. Last thing I'm going to do is just clean it all up with a wire wheel and give it a new fresh bit of paint. The exhaust one, well really all we can do is really clean it up. We can give it some paint but it won't last long, it'll just burn off. But it'll certainly make it look pretty for when we first put it all together. So we might give that a quick little coat of paint anyway, knowing that it's going to burn off. Now that they're sort of taken care of, probably the next little thing I really need to start looking at as far as uh, off-motor components is the SD40. So this is the uh, the big window carby, and I'm pretty excited about this one too. Actually, it's uh, everything seems to be moving and working pretty well and in good nick. So we'll look at that next time. All right, let's put this manifold on. Now, I think it's going to be a bit tricky because there's only one of me. Let's see how we go. <laughs> this is going to be a bit fun on my own, I think. Get around. Right, not a super informative video this one, but the manifold's all sorted out, it's all been cleaned up, painted, and installed. So it means we can continue to move forward with this motor, which has been painfully slow. Next job is the carby, want to rebuild the carby, chuck on the oil filter, which is a canister style oil filter, which is just here, so that'll uh, be installed next. But it's slowly coming along, slowly chasing up those little hard to get parts, and we're nearly there, so. Anyway guys, again, thank you so much for your support. Looking forward to a whole new year, 2022, and hopefully we'll get this whole thing sorted out on the road and up and going by at least sometime next year. <laughs> anyway guys, until next time, take care of yourselves.